Hello friends, uh, today I will discuss about directional overcurrent relay in case of transmission line protection. Consider uh, two substations, substation A and substation B. There exists uh, one parallel line that is uh, two feeder connected from transmission uh, substation A to substation B. Now a fault occur at a point A very close to substation B. The fault current will be flow as shown um, direction in this diagram. Now if uh, there is no other uh, source from substation B, relay at uh, substation B for both the feeder will sense the same current. However, for load at substation B, uh, load at substation B, substation B dash relay sense more current than substation uh, then relay uh, B that is um, B d there is load from substation B and therefore the current and the load current will add it up with the fault current therefore uh, relay at B dash will sense more current uh, compared to relay at B and therefore it is uh, possible that B dash relay trip before uh, relay at B and this is not desirable for a transmission line uh, and our intent is to trip the only the faulty section that is a b section to clear the fault and, and the other section that is a dash and b dash section remain in uh, uninterrupted power flow now this unwanted tripping can only be avoided by giving the relay to the directional features to the fault now after applying the directional features uh, in the relay uh, the same fault condition the relay will pick up um, as shown by uh, green uh, circle line that is relay a relay b and relay a dash will sense the fault current by giving proper time coordination of the directional uh, relay and pick up we can um, um, differentiate uh, the fault and uh, the faulty section will be cleared by first by A and um, B end relay and if B end relay is not uh, cleared the faulty section then then only the ADS relay will trip uh, the healthy feeder to clear the faulty section. Therefore the ADS relay will act as a backup of uh, B relay. Therefore, direction of the uh, direction feature is used as a towards the line that is if uh, in any section any fault occur in the s in between the section of the line then only the relay will pick up. That is forward uh, directional forward uh, is uh, features is used for uh, sensing the uh, fault in the transmission line now how does the directional relay determine the fault in forward direction to sense uh, the directional features uh, or uh, differentiate between forward and reverse direction directional relay use the pt voltage for uh, uh, the phasor diagram for um, directional uh, relay has been shown in this uh, left side uh, diagram here theta is the power factor angle for normal loaded condition now during the fault at r phase the voltage at uh, r phase will be fluctuate that is voltage will dip and for healthy phase is uh, y and B phase that is yellow and B phase is a healthy phase therefore a reference voltage is taken for determine the proper direction of the fault location that is the reference voltage uh, here for a red phase fault is taken as a B Y B that is voltage between yellow and blue phase now for my relay the maximum torque angle lies on 45 degree angle that is 
the I dash that is the fault current uh, I A dash that is the fault current at red phase will be leading from the reference voltage phase other, that is B Y B. Therefore, the operating region for red phase fault will be from plus 45 degree to minus 45 degree for red phase fault and, and beyond this operating region it will not sense uh, the current fault current. Similarly for Y phase the fault at Y phase the reference voltage is taken uh, as a V Mm, BR that is the voltage between B phase and red phase since the mic, mic for micom relay the maximum torque angle lies on 45 degree angle the fault uh, current uh, will lead the 45 degree from the reference voltage phase that is VPR therefore the operating zone for Y phase will be in between minus 75 degree to minus 255 degree beyond this region it will block the tripping that is the it is in, uh, remain on the reverse zone similarly for blue phase fault at uh, blue phase it will uh, take as a reference voltage at VRY that is in voltage between red phase and yellow phase since the maximum torque angle lies in uh, 45 degree uh, that is IB dash uh, is uh, lies from 45 degree angle from VRY the operating zone for B phase lies in between minus 15 degree to minus 195 degree and this zone treated as a forward zone that is directional forward zone for um, re relay fault, a fault at B phase uh, beyond this zone the relay will uh, act as a reverse zone or blind zone that is beyond this zone relay will not sense any fault now connection diagram for my comp 141 for overcur directional overcurrent relay has been shown in this diagram it uh, takes uh, the PT voltage uh, in the port uh, as shown in this diagram and CT voltage uh, as shown in the upper portion of the diagram the CT polarity uh, must be correct otherwise the fault at uh, uh, line transmission line section it will may not uh, sense the uh, directional uh, may not sense the fault as directional features is given in the relay that is uh, the S2 terminal should be sorted for uh, for giving the directional forward features in the transmission line and, and the CT must be co connected in proper polarity as shown in this diagram friends if you like my videos then do not forget to subscribe my channel and also press the bell button for notification for videos to be uploaded in future thank you very much